Hey dudes, welcome to Will It Twinkie episode 3. This is the series where I combine Twinkies with other foods and then I scientifically and objectively observe the results by eating it and telling you what I think. Alright, so this week we're rocking the Operator Operating Operationally shirt from Russian Roulette Clothing. Check it out. And, I don't know which camera. Oh yeah, bacon wrapped Twinkie. We use only the finest organic, free range pork and grill it in a Glock brand Tenefer coated iron skillet. Dipping into my pre band stash of assault Twinkies and utilizing my community college chef certificate, I was able to expertly craft and construct a most attractive culinary delight. Behold, the bacon-wrapped Twinkie. Okay, so I don't know which one to try. They all look good. I mean, I don't know. let's look at this plate. I think I'm going to choose this one. I might eat two of them, because I have so many. <laughs> let's get it on. Hmm. This is totally awesome. It's like sex, man. Better than sex. Bacon wrapped Twinkies? You can go into business with this. Wow, incredible. 10 out of 10. I'm getting another one. It's like candied bacon, man. But the candy's on the inside instead of the outside. Mmm. Mm. Incredible. I, I can't even explain it. It, it. it befuddled me. It confused me. It boggles my mind. What's going on here? The bacon complements the Twinkie cake perfectly. It's like breaded bacon. Amazing. And then you get that cream filling, that explosion of candy flavor awesomeness it's like breaded candied bacon mmm unbelievable amazing alright let's cook some with a Glock 20 okay dudes what I have here is the Glock 20 this is a 10 millimeter auto uh, hand cannon this is an incredible cartridge for semi-automatic. I believe it's one of the more powerful if you get the proper loads. Uh, it's, it's just gin ginormous. It's um, more powerful than 45. It's uh, it's, it's almost like a, a magnum revolver around in a semi-auto. It's, it's just, just they're really cool. It's a cool gun. You can actually, it's legal to hunt with in some states. Hunt game with. It's, that, it's like that powerful of a pistol. Uh, we are going to cook and eat a couple of these Twinkies with the Glock 20, and I also have a Twinkie hiding in the doorknob hole over there. We'll, we'll shoot that bad boy. So, uh, I've, got, I've got several of these little Glock pistol bayonets. They're fun, but they're really not uh, practical. They're just pure recreation, fun shooting. And let's, put, let's, let's mount a Twinkie right up there. Oh yeah, look at that. So one thing you got to note that we're not creating a, a suppressor here. We're leaving a gap here, so we're, we're, we're putting an attachment on the firearm, but there's sufficient gap. We're not covering the bore. We're not suppressing the, the weapon. Actually, this enhances, for the shooter, this enhances sound and flash. Because it all just sends it right back at me. So, a big old gap there. I know some people freak out about that. You know what I'm saying? And it's a significant uh, distance from the muzzle. In order to cook it to perfection, we have, uh, we're just we're just shooting some cheapo 10 millimeters right here. I'm not going to shoot my nice ass the Hornady hollow points. Those things are crazy expensive. So let's see if we can actually be accurate with this. So aim. I'm shooting at the uh, the nose on the on the snake hand machine target there. Well, I have no idea where I hit. Uh, let's let's shoot at the Twinkie in the doorknob, see if we can actually hit that. Oh, snap! Right next to it. I think I hit it. 
Got it. Killed that Twinkie. Let's take this Twinkie out. Let's, let's put this one on funny like. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> you can see that Twinkie tried to escape. Let's do one more. Nice. Got obliterated. We have one last Twinkie covered Baconator here. Let's just take it out. Let's just take it out properly. Nice, I have Twinkie frosting all over my Glock 20 and Twinkie remnants everywhere. Anyways, thanks for watching Will It Twinkie episode three. Uh, come back next time. I'll probably shoot the uh, Snake Hound UBR. I'll Twinkie that thing somehow. And uh, thanks for watching. Alright dudes, if you made it this far, I would really appreciate it if you dropped a comment telling me what you thought or giving me suggestions or ideas for new videos. And if you like or dislike, that's huge and helps out my channel a lot. And check out my second channel, Matthew James Beast. Link in the description. Thank you for watching.